The Broncos had little patches of support in Auckland, but it didn't start well against the Warriors. Prop Ben Hennett tore his calf in the warm-up, and the Warriors' big men were out to do more damage. And Matangi with a strong charge up the centre. The Warriors had the blowtorch out early. Their kicking game presented back-to-back -back sets, and the Broncos couldn't hold on. The Warriors' defence also had some sting. But it fell asleep with Prince delivering a king hit. Prince's kick was perfect, but they checked Moranta's placement before awarding the try. And from that, Sam Thiaday got a huge boost. Thiaday was one of four Broncos backing up from Origin 2. Justin Hodges was another, but everyone was doing their bit in a tough first half. And he's such a handful, look at him go. He was spun around there like it was pinned the tail of a donkey. He's still offloaded. That mattering throws down Peter Wallace. As the Warriors hung on to a two-point lead, a major mix-up handed the advantage to Brisbane. Again, the video ref had the final say before Wallace celebrated. Then Big Manu got involved at the other end in the shadows of half-time. The Warriors 12-10 up at the break. The second half started Brisbane's way, with a simple training run play bringing points. The Broncos looked certain to back that up with another try, but somehow Glenn Fisciani got away with this. As the clock counted down, Brisbane looked for another overlap. There was an opening, and only an intercept was going to close it. In a dramatic finish, the Broncos received a penalty 43 metres out. Corey Parker had the kick to send the game into extra time. The Warriors hanging on for an 18-16 win. Clinton Fletcher, NRL.com.